Praise the Lord. A new season of power. And yours is coming in Jesus' name. Whatever need you brought here tonight, there is nothing, no nothing, that our God cannot do. He will do it. I said he will do it. How your new season of power will begin tonight in Jesus' name. I want you to think of what you have come for. What is it you need? If you have not written it on a paper, think about it in your mind. And say something definite. Mention something definite. Identify something definite. Because tonight is your night. Your night of power. Your night of miracle. Your night of healing. Your night of deliverance. Your night of signs and wonders in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the great testimonies we're hearing. We thank you, Lord, because you are a God that cannot fail. And as we come tonight, oh Lord, I pray, you will turn every life around in Jesus' name. Impart faith to every heart. Impart life to everyone. And the Spirit that works mightily will come upon everyone in Jesus' name. I pray that for every brother, every sister, every boy, every girl, every child, this will become a new season of power in Jesus' name. We bless your name because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Mark chapter 11 verse 22 verse 23 verse 24 Mark 11 22 and Jesus answering says unto them have faith in God and Jesus answering says unto them have faith in God Something had happened before this time. The Lord Jesus Christ with his 12 disciples, they were walking on the way. And Jesus saw a fig tree. That fig tree was supposed to bring forth fruit. But there was no fruit there. And so Jesus spoke the word. He didn't cut the tree with an axe. He didn't shake the tree with his hand. He didn't touch the tree in any way. He stood at a distance. Like I'm standing at a distance before you today. I'm not there to touch you. I'm not there to shake you. But Jesus at a distance said, No man eat fruit on that tree anymore. He said it plainly. He said it quietly. He said it without jumping, without running, without shouting. He said it in his normal voice. But there was faith behind those words. And the disciples looked at the tree as if nothing had taken place. They passed on. The following morning, they were passing by. And they saw the tree. The tree had dried up. Like your sickness is going to dry up. Like that cancer in your body is going to dry up. That infirmity in your body is going to dry up. When they saw the tree dried up, then they said, Lord, see the tree that you spoke about yesterday that is dried is withered away it was on the basis of that that Jesus answering said unto them have faith in God in verse 23 for verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say he now transferred it 
unto them. And he said, Whosoever any of you, my disciples, will say like I said, will speak like I spoke, will pronounce the word like I pronounce the word, whosoever, maybe Peter or Andrew, whosoever, maybe Jacob or Joseph, whosoever, maybe Matthew or Bartholomew, whosoever, he was saying, their height, their strength, their age did not matter. It was the faith in them that actually mattered. And he said, whosoever, and you know, Jesus said, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away, which means he's still saying the same thing today. And you are the whosoever I'm talking about tonight. Whosoever shall say to this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he says. Therefore, I say unto you, therefore, because of what happened to the tree, therefore I say unto you, because there may be a tree in your life that is sapping away your energy, sapping away your resources, taking away your money, and it's not bearing any fruit. I spoke to that purposeless, fruitless tree. Therefore, in the same way, I say unto you, that sickness that is taking money from you is not contributing anything to you. That demonic oppression that is taking away your energy, your attention, your life is not adding anything unto you. That poverty, that need that is taking all your thoughts, all your mind away, not adding anything to you. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever you desire, everything you desire, something good is coming your way. Everything you desire, the positive thing is coming your way. He said, whatsoever you desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive and ye shall have them. Ye shall have them. Your miracle is not only one tonight because Jesus says you have them in the plural. They are coming your way in Jesus' name. I'm talking to you tonight on the power of faith in God. The power of faith in God. Jesus Christ demonstrated power over the tree. As we look at other parts of the scriptures, he demonstrated power over the sea. As we look at other parts, he demonstrated power over man. As we look at the scriptures, he demonstrated power over the fish of the sea. He demonstrated power over sickness and disease. He demonstrated power over demons and then over all flesh. As we look at the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, the power of faith worked in such a way it changed the nature of things. Understand that. It will change every situation in your life. Every circumstance of your life. Everything that bothers you, it will change the very nature of the problem in your life in Jesus' name. Even you yourself as a man, as a woman, the words of Christ, the pronouncement of Christ, the authority of Christ, he will demonstrate himself in your life. Your very nature tonight is going to change. Anything that is not bearing fruit in your life, not bearing fruit in your family, not bearing fruit in your business, 
Tonight is the night of transformation. As we look at what the Lord does on our nature, it changes a depraved nature. It changes a defiled nature. It changes a disfigured nature. You see, that tree was a representation of an entity, of a personality, of anything in our lives. And as you look at your nature, which is going to receive a miraculous, definite transformation tonight, maybe it's depraved, just there, not bearing any fruit. Tonight, the word of the Lord is coming on that depraved nature. It will come alive in Jesus' name. A defiled nature. You want to think right, you think wrong. You want to think righteous, you think sinful. You want to think good, you think bad. A defiled nature will receive a definite miraculous transformation tonight in Jesus name a disfigured nature when God created that tree there was a purpose God never created anything without purpose but the purpose of creation was not being realized look at your life as you look at your life it's limitations it's restriction it's failure it's frailty and it's shortcoming you're asking yourself is this all god created me for or is my nature is my nature disfigured depraved defiled thank god you are here tonight all that disfigurement you will not see again in jesus name it changes a diseased nature. There are people, they're sick inside, they're sick outside. They're sick in the heart, they're sick in the head. They're sick in the blood system, they're sick in their bone structure. They're sick on their skin, they're sick in their soul. Everything is like disease on the inside disease on the outside and you want look at the tree no wonder because of this internal and external disease there's no fruit your life will bear fruit and that diseased nature will receive a divine touch even tonight in jesus name a depraved nature, a change is coming. A defiled nature, a change is coming. A disfigured nature, a change is coming. A diseased nature, a change is coming. A devilish nature. There are people that it's like the devil plants his thoughts, his ideas, his evil, his everything into their hearts they want to think good they cannot think good they want to go the right way they cannot go the right way it's like a devilish nature is the one motivating them is the one driving them is the one controlling them devilish nature hear the word of the lord a miraculous change is coming tonight in jesus name a drifting nature drifting you want to walk in the right direction you drift no goal no achievement no purpose no success just drifting 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 it's like where you want to get to you're not getting there but what God created you for, you will not drift. I said you will not drift. That drifting nature is receiving a miraculous touch tonight in Jesus' name. 
Some people are just dead. Brain, dead. Mind, dead. Thoughts, dead. Future, dead. Family, dead. Their procreative system, dead. Work, dead. Everything is dead. Praise the Lord for the Christ of resurrection. Praise the Lord for the Christ of life and resurrection tonight. That dead nature will come alive in Jesus' name. That tree that Jesus spoke to. And when that tree heard the word of the Lord. Representing a depraved nature. Representing a defiled nature, representing a disfigured nature, representing a diseased nature, representing a devilish nature, representing a drifting nature, representing a dead nature. A divine nature will come in place of everything in Jesus' name. We're looking at Second Peter. Second Peter, put your finger in Mark. I'm coming back there. Second Peter, chapter one. And I'm reading from verses 3 and 4. According as his divine power, he has given unto us all things. Everybody say all things. I said say all things. Say all things. All things are coming your way. All good things are coming your way. All beautiful things are coming your way. Powerful, mighty things coming your way. In Jesus' name. According as his divine power, he has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. Through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and to virtue. Through knowledge. That's why we preach before we pray. Some people say, just pray, pray, pray for me. Knowledge, knowledge first. Because the transformation coming your way, the miracle coming your way, is going to come through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and to virtue. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the... Ye might be partakers of the... Tell me ye shall partakers of the divine nature having escaped you will escape having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust that's why as we look at what the lord said when he said have faith in god and then he said whosoever 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 shall say unto this mountain we come here tonight all I'm interested in tonight is that any mountain in your life hindering that life productive purpose of God in your life, any mountain, uh, there's a bulldozer tonight, is going to whisk everything away in Jesus' name. That whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, is going to be removed. Sicknesses removed. Cancer removed, ulcer removed, tuberculosis removed, paralysis removed, that brain insanity removed in Jesus' name, and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart. He shall have, he shall have, I will have whatever I say, you'll have it in Jesus' name. Three points. Number one, the promise of the word of faith. The promise of the word of faith. The promise of the word of faith. Number two, the power of the work of faith. The work of faith. The activity of faith. The manifestation of faith. The ability of faith. The power of the work of faith. Number three, the progress through the work of faith. Walk, that is the movement of faith, the steps of faith. We're making progress. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Making progress. The progress through the walk of faith. Number one. Number one. The promise of the word of faith. Word of faith. Word of faith. Remember? Word of faith. Look at Romans chapter 10, verse 8. 
Romans chapter 10, verse 8. But what says it? The word is nice thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That is the word of faith which we preach. The word of faith. You see the problem with other people, many people, is that instead of the word of faith, they have the word of unbelief, the words they pronounce. But I want to tell you tonight, miracles come through the promise of the word of faith. Therefore, the number one thing to strike out is the word of unbelief. Even if it's coming in your mind that Maybe this will not happen. That will not happen. Do not give expression to the word of unbelief. Stab it. It's like when you have an animal there. Because unbelief is a beast. It's an animal. If you don't feed it, if you don't give it any food, any attention, eventually you'll stab it to death. Do not give expression to the word of unbelief. Word of faith. Number two word of uncertainty there are many people instead of the word of faith i'm not sure i don't know whether it will happen or not me i know something good is going to happen tonight i know miracles are going to happen tonight i know blind eyes if you are there those blind eyes will open tonight in jesus name cut it off cut it off words of uncertainty words of uncertainty because it is the promise of the word of faith number three cut it off words of unfaithfulness unfaithfulness it's an insult to say that god is unfaithful it's blasphemy to say that god is unfaithful for god to say here is what i will do and then for you to say Maybe God will not be faithful. Words of unfaithfulness cut it off because the faithfulness of God reaches from us unto heaven. Tonight, the promise of God will be yes and amen your life in Jesus' name. Number four, words of unrighteousness. Words of unrighteousness. The word of God tells us God is not unrighteous to forget your labor of love. God is not unrighteous to forget your path, your passion towards sin. And you're running at time. And you're wanting to be what he wants you to be. Cut it off. Words of unrighteousness. Cut it off. Number five. Words of unworthiness. Christ said already, Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed. The area of unworthiness doesn't come into this at all the thought of unworthiness does not come to this at all already he put your name there he says you are the whosoever he didn't put uh, you know a tall person a short person a man or a woman is good for the man is good for the woman is good for the teenager is good for the parents because it's whosoever cut it off any thought of unworthiness Christ has made you worthy. You are worthy in Jesus' name. Say, I am worthy. Say, I am worthy. I am worthy of the miracle power tonight. You are worthy in Jesus' name. Words of the unstable. Unstable. He that doubteth in his heart is like something that has been put to and fro. It's unstable unstable in all his ways that is stability the words of the unstable today i say i believe the next moment i'm not sure again because we're talking about the word of faith the faith that is positive and powerful and the faith that i know that i know it must happen tonight it will happen in jesus name the words of the unknown cut it off you see those heathens in Athens, as Paul the apostle passed through, they said they were serving an unknown God. You're not coming to God tonight as if the Father to you is unknown. 
You're not coming to God tonight as if Jesus to you is unknown. You're not coming to God tonight as if the Holy Ghost is unknown. The words of un unknown. I don't know whether it will happen or it will not happen. I know. I said I know. I said I know. Anybody there that knows that tonight God will be faithful? Anybody there tonight that knows the name of Jesus will walk my chile? Anybody there tonight that knows that heaven and earth may pass away, the words of Jesus will never pass away. It is happening in your life tonight in Jesus' name. The word, the word of faith, the word of faith. And it says, the promise of the word of faith. This is the word of faith. Look at that. Romans chapter 10, verse 8 again. Romans chapter 10, verse 8. But what says it? The word is near thee, even in thy mouth. And then it says in thine heart, that is the word of faith which will preach, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart, that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Do you see how long it takes people, some people to say they get saved? They say, I've been coming to, the, to this place for three years. I'm not saved yet. But it says, if you just believe in your heart and then confess with your mouth, how long does that take? Other people say, I'm trying. I'm struggling. I'm trying my best. It has taken me seven years now. I'm not saved yet. What? How long does it take? If thou shalt confess with thy mouth, Jesus is Lord and shall believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead on your behalf. Thou shalt be saved. Tonight, if you are not saved yet, you'll be saved in Jesus' name. It's the same thing about healing. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth that Jesus is the Lord over your body and shall believe in your heart, that the spirit that raised him up from the dead dwells in your mortal body. He will quicken your mortal body. And tonight, you are healed in Jesus' name. It's the same thing with deliverance. If thou shalt confess with your mouth that the Lordship of Jesus Christ, he has his Lord over the spirit realm, his Lord over demons and disease and everything. And then you'll confess with your mouth that God raised him from the dead, that the powers of demons could not hold him down, and that the powers of demons will not hold you down. You'll be delivered in Jesus' name. Then it says in verse, verse 9, that he that shall confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Then it says, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. With the heart man believeth unto righteousness. Some people say, I don't understand. This righteousness is tough. This righteousness is difficult. Because I try. It doesn't say by trial man gets unto righteousness other people say i'm struggling i'm struggling i'm trying to overcome this overcome that it doesn't say by struggling man comes into righteousness it says by with the heart man believeth unto righteousness say what he said believe what he said that he said i'll make you righteous he'll make you righteous i said he'll make you righteous and then he says and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Unto salvation. All the promises of God from this night, there'll be yes in your life. There'll be amen in your life. Look at, look at Acts chapter Acts chapter 2. I'm reading verse 39. Acts chapter 2, verse 39. Acts chapter 2, verse 39. It says in verse 39 of Acts of the Apostles, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2. For the promise is unto you. For the promise is unto you. I said the promise is unto you. Well, that, that word is applicable to every promise of God. Is there any promise of salvation in the Bible? The promise is unto you. Is there any promise of sanctification in the Bible? The promise is unto you. Is there any promise of Holy Ghost power? Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost power in the Bible. The promise is unto you tonight in Jesus' name. 
is any promise of healing in the bible the promise is unto you tonight i said the promise is unto you tonight sickness i command you come out of their lives in jesus name is there any promise of deliverance any promise of freedom any promise of liberty in the bible the promise is unto you is there any promise of prosperity in the bible the promise is unto you is there any promise of long life in the bible the promise is unto you is there any promise of childbearing in the bible the promise is unto you look at the promise of god look at the promise of god tonight you are a partaker in jesus name the promise of the word of faith the promise of the word of faith the word is given to us already and it's the word of faith and as god has spoken the word of faith unto you and you repeat the word of faith back unto god those two will come together will produce a miracle in your life in jesus name for the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. How many promises will God fulfill? How many promises will God make true in your life? First Kings chapter 8, First Kings chapter 8, First Kings chapter 8. I'm reading from verse 56. Be getting ready because tonight you will be a particle of the miracle power. You'll be hearing testimonies. This person came, testimony. That person came, testimony. Praise the Lord. Tonight is your night. Praise the Lord. Tonight is your night. Because the promise is unto you. I said the promise is unto. The promise is unto. Any promise you are holding unto tonight, it is done in Jesus' name. First, first Kings, first Kings chapter 8. I'm reading from verse 56. First Kings chapter 8. We're looking at verse 56. Don't limit your God. There is no lack. There's no loss. There's no limitation. I said, don't limit your God. There's no lack. There's no loss. There's no limitation. I said, don't limit your God. There's no. There's no. And there's no. It will happen in Jesus' name chapter 8 chapter 8 verse 56 it says blessed be the lord that has given us that has given rest unto his people israel according to all that he promised according to all that he promised according to all that he promised there has not failed one word of all his good promise which he promised by the hand of moses his servant there has not failed one word. That's why I said salvation is here tonight. Sanctification is here tonight. Holy Ghost is here tonight. Power is here tonight. That's why I'm saying healing is here tonight. Deliverance is here tonight. Miracle children are here tonight. Prosperity is here tonight. There has not failed one word. Of all his good promise, promises, which he promised unto us, you will get it in Jesus' name. Point number two now, point number two, the power of the work of faith. The power of the work of faith. The power of the work of faith. You see, there are some people that leave their faith dangling in the air. It has no foundation. It has no ground it has no fruit it has no action attached onto it it must be the work of faith the work of faith look at it we're looking at james chapter 2 james chapter 2 verse 17 james chapter 2 verse 17 even so faith if it has not words is dead being alone if that faith is just hanging there, I believe, I believe there's no action to show that you believe. When it says that you are healed, believe it and do what you are not able to do before. If you are blind before and it says the word of power, the word of faith is coming to you. What you do after the, after the final amen, you open your eyes and know that you are going to see there must be a demonstration. There must be an activity. There must be something that you do to show that it's the work of faith. It will happen tonight. I said it will happen tonight. 
didn't you hear all those people that gave testimonies they said the man of god said or the pastor said or our father and the lord said whatever they said and then after they believed it and they went back home rejoicing knowing i got something knowing i got something this new season of power this august it is for you you are getting something in jesus name but the work of faith the work of faith look at it verse 20 verse 20 but wilt thou know O vain man that faith without works is dead he says it the second time again faith without action faith without any activity faith without corresponding action that because i believe that's why i'm doing this faith without action is dead look at verse 26 it says in verse 26 for as the body without the spirit is dead so faith without works is dead also so it's a power that is manifested through the work of faith the work of faith as you believe tonight it will be unto you according to your faith mark chapter 9 verse 23 mark chapter 9 verse 23 when you say you believe then there must be something you will do to demonstrate your belief look at jesus christ now and look at what he told the people they were looking for wine they were searching for wine because the wine had finished and then the mother said unto jesus the wine is finished and Jesus said, what have I got to do with you, woman? She didn't get offended. She didn't get offended. If you have faith in God, it is what you are looking for. That is your focus. That is your target. There's no offense. Whatever Jesus said, he is the truth. He is the way, he is the life. It's always correct. And look at the other woman that Jesus said, it is not right to give the children's bread and to give to dogs. And she accepted faith is never offended it is those who don't have faith they're looking at the grammar they're looking at the construction they're looking at the presentation they're looking at the structure but when you have faith you take the word at face value and the miracle will strike you right there in jesus name and then mary went to tell those servants whatsoever he says unto you do tell me whatsoever he says unto you i didn't hear you whatsoever i say unto you he do it he, they were going to and that's the work of faith that's the action of faith what he says may look unreasonable i had an accident i'm on crutches and the lord is saying healing is coming your way right now drop those crutches and stand up whatsoever i say unto you do it you brought somebody deaf and dumb has not been speaking and the lord is speaking right now that is the god of all power and he's going to open those deaf ears he's going to lose those tongues speak unto them right now whatsoever he says unto you do it it will happen in jesus name you be to a particular place for interview and then you didn't get any result i was saying go back there your job is waiting for you whatsoever he says unto you do it you're going to get the job in jesus name you went for a medical report before and they said everything is this everything is that and they say you are dying and then the lord is saying you will not die you will live i say you will not die you will live and the lord is saying go back to that same place let them conduct another test they'll see that you are totally healed forever in jesus name that, that's the word that's the word of faith so uh, jesus said fill the water pots with water and we're looking for wine whatsoever he says unto you do it that's the work of faith and then they filled it with water and then jesus said draw it out now remember whatsoever he says unto you do it that's the work of faith and he drew it up and then go go and give to the master of ceremony and again to the man he drank it he said this is the best wine i ever tasted in my life and i'm saying this is the best miracle you'll ever get in your life tonight the best miracle tonight the best healing tonight the best deliverance and tonight the best signs and wonders in jesus name look at this look at this mark chapter 9 verse 23 mark chapter 9 we're looking at verse 23 jesus said unto him 
if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. All things are possible to him that believeth. How many things are possible tonight? I said how many things are possible tonight? Now, in your own personal life, in your own personal life, in your own personal life, how many things are possible? All those things, I cannot go there, you can go there. I cannot do this, you can do it. I cannot climb this mountain, you can climb that mountain. I cannot live in this family, you will live in that family. I cannot do this work, you will do that work. Uh, I, this is impossible. Impossibilities are turned to possibilities tonight in Jesus' name. All things. All things. All things. Those who are not saved in your family, can they get saved? They'll be saved. And those who are not healed, who are sick, can they get healed? There's going to be double healing today in Jesus' name. Number one, healing for you right there in front of me. Healing for the people that are hearing me right now in Jesus' name. But we're going to multiply that healing by two. You will take the name of somebody in the hospital, somebody among your neighborhood that you know they have been sick for a long time. And while we're here, you will get your say, that's number one. And then the person out there who is not here tonight, you're going to mention them. By the time you get back home, number two, healing is theirs also in Jesus' name. Because there is a path for healing here tonight power for deliverance here tonight because by this same faith deliverance will come in jesus name any power of demons any power of evil spirit everything will be broken down tonight in jesus name do you know that there are people here tonight you are going to be sanctified you are going to be made holy. I found it impossible to internal holiness and by transparent holiness. I found this impossible by faith tonight. Receive in Jesus' name. There are people there you have been saved and sanctified. Holy Ghost baptism. Holy Ghost power. Power, power, power tonight. Power tonight. Holy Ghost power tonight. With the manifestation that we find in the Acts of the Apostles, everything will come upon your life tonight in Jesus' name. Miracles, miracles, miracles. I see miracle everywhere. I said I see miracle everywhere. I see miracle everywhere. That pain is gone in Jesus' name. That heart that has a hole there is mended right now in Jesus' name. I walk a little distance, I walk a little distance, I'm breathing as if I run, relay, race, all that weakness of your heart, everything is going to be strengthened tonight, in Jesus' name. All possibilities, all possibilities in your life, impossibility is cancelled. All that language, I cannot, I will not, I must not, you cancel it from tonight because today you are a child of faith. Today you are a man of faith. And today you are a woman of faith in Jesus' name. I'm a woman, I cannot do that. Who said so? Jesus said, whosoever. I'm just a newcomer, I cannot do that. Jesus said, whosoever, whatsoever as you believe, it will be to you tonight in Jesus' name. Look at this in Matthew chapter 17. Matthew chapter 17. And I'm reading here from verse 20. Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, unbelief is cancelled in my life. Unbelief is cancelled in my life. Unbelief is cancelled in my life. Say it for yourself. Unbelief is cancelled in my life. Anywhere I go, faith, no unbelief. Faith, no unbelief. Faith, no unbelief. At the time of prayer, no unbelief. I said there's no unbelief. In your family, no unbelief in Jesus' name. In your place of work, no unbelief in Jesus' name. In the day, in the night, in the dream, in the reality, there will be no unbelief in Jesus' name. Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief, for very lay I say unto you, the Lord is talking to me. I said the Lord is talking to me. 
I said the Lord is talking to me. If ye have faith, if ye have faith, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing, and nothing, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. I'm asking you a question right now. If you really believe that, if you really believe that, that in this project of life, in this project of family development, in this project of educational pursuit, in this project of business, that you know that nothing shall be possible unto you, what will you begin to plan from tonight? How will you begin to live from tonight? Where will you go from tonight? If you believe that these problems were presented to the Lord tonight, that all those bar all the barrenness, all the sterility, everything will clear everything out of the way. If you believe a miracle child is coming on the way, what will you do tonight? How will you act tonight? And when you go back tomorrow, how what preparation will you make? And Jesus said, Nothing, nothing, nothing shall be impossible unto you. You need to now know that by the grace of God, you are a success, you are not a failure. You are happy and you are not sad anymore. You need to know that circumstances will not dictate, will not determine the direction of your life. It is your faith inside you that will determine the progress of your life in Jesus' name. And thank God you will make it. I said thank God you will make it by the work of faith, by the action of faith, by the activity of faith. Nothing shall be impossible unto you in Jesus' name. Point number three, now progress through the walk of faith. Progress through the walk of faith. Do you know you are going to make progress in your life? I said, do you know you are going to make progress in your life? All the setbacks of your life, they are cut off in Jesus' name. Falling and rising, falling and rising. I try to catch it. I get one, I lose three. I get four, I get one, I lose five. All that loss is cut off in Jesus' name. You will march forward. You will march forward. You have come out of Egypt and you are going to Canaan land. You will make progress and get to that Canaan land in Jesus' name. You will not go back to Egypt again. Egypt of failure forever cancelled. Egypt of defeat forever cancelled. Egypt of sickness forever cancelled. Egypt of depression forever cancelled. Egypt of madness, insanity forever cancelled. Egypt of hatred and enmity forever cancelled. Egypt of uh, no food, no nothing, whatever forever cancelled in Jesus' name. Egypt of barrenness forever cancelled in Jesus' name. Egypt of depending upon one man somewhere idolatry forever cancelled in jesus name progress 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 marching forward forward ever backward never upward ever downward never forward ever no backsliding in jesus name progress 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 through the work of faith look at second corinthians chapter seven second corinthians chapter seven i'm reading from verse chapter five verse seven second corinthians chapter five verse seven for we walk by faith and not by sight for we walk by faith and not by sight what does that mean for we walk by faith and not by sight look up here what it means is this when i open my eyes and i'm walking who do i see you might see Pharaoh. When you open your eyes and you are walking, who do you see? You might see Nebuchadnezzar. When you open your eyes and you are walking, you might see the fire of Nebuchadnezzar. And then that strikes fear in your heart because of what you see. But it says, we're not walking by sight. We're walking by faith. What does that mean? I close my eyes. I don't see Pharaoh, but I see my God. I close my eyes. I don't see Nebuchadnezzar, but I see the fourth one that came in the fire. But I see the appearance of the fourth one is like the Son of God. The Son is with you. He will never leave you. All might, underneath you are the everlasting arms, and the everlasting arms will carry you in Jesus' name. 
and then he says i give the holy ghost unto you he will abide with you forever when you close your eyes on your praying you don't see pharaoh you don't see Nebuchadnezzar, you don't see Herod, you see the almighty God on the throne who will never fail. You see Jesus Christ who said, I will never leave you, I will never forsake you. You are walking by faith. You are walking by the word of Jesus, walking by faith. You are walking by the pronouncement of Jesus in your life. You are walking by faith. And because you are walking by faith, all things are possible in your life. In Jesus' name. Those who are walking by faith, how do they walk? Number one, they walk in humility. They walk in humility. They say, not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. They said, this is not my power, and this is not my might, but God is going to do definitely, going to do great things, mighty things in my life. Micah chapter 6. Micah chapter 6. I'm reading from verse 8. Walk in humility. It says... He has showed thee, O man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of thee, but to do justly, and to love mercy, and to walk, tell me, and to walk, tell me, to walk humbly with thy God. You're saying, I can do all things, if you stop there, that's pride, I can do all things through Christ, who strengthens me. My strength is in Christ. My, ups, my achievement is in Christ. My progress is in Christ. Everything he promised, he is the faithful one. He will do it in my life. That's, you are walking in humility. Number two, you are walking in honesty. Walking in honesty. You don't need to be dishonest because everything the Lord has ordained for you to have, you will have in Jesus' name. You know, if you know that your possession is going to be your possession, and your inheritance is going to be your inheritance. There's no dishonesty necessary. The people who try to be dishonest, why are they dishonest? Because they think, I can't have it straightforward. I can't have it in the normal way. Therefore, they have to do some juggling or whatever. But you don't have to do that because it is coming your way. I said it's coming your way. No Pharaoh can hinder your blessing tonight. No Herod can hinder your blessing tonight. No demon can hinder your blessing any time in your life. And since you know it is coming, it is coming, and it will get to you, therefore there is no need for dishonesty. Look at Romans, Romans, Romans chapter 13. In Romans chapter 13, I'm reading here in verse 13, 13, 13, 13, 13 of Romans. And here is what the Lord is telling us here. The way we walk, it says, let us walk honestly as in the day. Let us walk honestly as in the day. That means number one, because you are walking by faith. And you are walking by faith, you are making progress. Number one, you walk in humility. Number two, you walk in uh, in uh, honesty, number three, you walk in holiness. You walk in holiness. I'm looking at Luke chapter one. Luke chapter one. We're looking at verse six. Even though it appears that you are past the age of childbearing, if you still want a child, miracle child will come in Jesus' name. Husband is old and wife is old, and you're saying, "Oh Lord, when will be my turn? When it is it my turn? Tonight it is your turn in Jesus' name." Look at this, look at this. In Luke chapter 1 verse 6, Luke chapter 1 verse 6, it says, And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments, in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless, walking in holiness. You see, the people whose hearts are centered in God, that you just know that all, I'm looking up to the hills from whence my help will come. I'm looking up to the hills from whence all my resources and all my prosperity and everything I ever need, everything will come. They are walking in humility. They are walking in honesty. They are walking in holiness. They are walking in health. They are walking in health. You'll be healthy in Jesus' name. Every form of sickness, every form of infirmity, every form of affliction is taking away your life in Jesus' name. Walk by faith, there'll be humility. Walk by faith, there'll be honesty. Walk by faith, there'll be holiness. Walk by faith, there'll be healing and health in your body. It will happen in Jesus' name. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3. 
Acts of the Apostles chapter 3, the word of the Lord is coming to you right now and your body will receive strength and power and health and vigor in Jesus' name. Acts chapter 3 verse 6, then Peter says, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, I give unto thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Tell me. Tell your neighbor. Look to the other side and tell them. Don't allow anything, all the paralysis that kept you there, all the infirmity that kept you there since you were born, all those impossibilities, I'm tied down here, I'm hindered here, I'm limited. The doctor said, and they said, and they said, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand. That's what to do to you know those who are still wondering, can I rise? Can I walk? And there are your neighbors there by the grace of God, you know, share your faith together. Hold them like this and say, My brother, it has happened. Put action to your faith. Put action to your faith. It's the work of faith. And then as we lift them up, they're going to walk in Jesus' name. He lifted him up and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength and he leaping stood up and walked and entered with them into the temple walking and leaping and praising god and all the people saw him walking and praising god walking in hell number five walk like him walk like him that is if you're going to make progress and you're walking but we are we are making progress by walking the walk of faith that is the movement of faith the the, the steps of faith it's like you are walking like him. First John chapter 2 verse 6. First John chapter 2 verse 6. It says, He that saith he abided in him ought himself also so to walk in, even as he walked. Jesus never walked in unbelief. Just walk like him. Everything he did, he did by faith. Jesus never walked in dishonesty. Just walk like him. Just be honest. Jesus never walked it tied to the devil, afraid of the devil, afraid of demons, afraid of people. He walked in boldness and conscious dependence upon the Almighty God. And it says, He that he that abideth in him ought himself also so to walk, even as he walked. Anything that happens to you, anything you ask, you say, what will Jesus do? What will Jesus say? How will Jesus act? How will Jesus dress? How will Jesus eat? How will Jesus pray? How will Jesus trust? How will Jesus love? How will Jesus forgive? How will Jesus interact? How will Jesus behave? Any, anyone that says he abideth in him ought to walk even as he walked. You walk like him. Then you walk to higher grounds. Everybody say higher grounds. I said, say higher grounds. You will not remain at this level where you are. You are going to go higher. I said you are going to go higher. No river Jordan will hinder your progress. No Red Sea will hinder your progress. No enemy will hinder your progress. Higher ground, higher ground, higher ground will be yours in Jesus' name. You have been blessed. You will be blessed more and more. You have been healed, you'll be healed more and more. You have been delivered, you'll be delivered more and more. Higher ground will be yours in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter Isaiah chapter 4, chapter 40. Isaiah chapter 40. I'm reading from verse 28. Has thou not known? Has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not? neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint. There is no fainting person here tonight. Power is coming your way in Jesus' name. Nothing that is making you be as if you are going to faint, you are going to pass on, you are going to pass off. Life coming to you right now in Jesus' name. And strength and vitality and power in your system right now. He giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might. He increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord. 
they that wait upon the Lord, I praise God for you are here tonight. Uh, you know, from the morning, many of us, you waited upon the Lord. You say, I'm getting something. You are getting something. I said you are getting something. He says, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. You will soar like an eagle in Jesus' name. You will walk to higher grounds in Jesus' name. They shall run, they shall not be weary. They shall walk and they shall not faint. In fact, in fact, number one, when you walk by faith, you walk in humility. Number two, you walk in honesty. Number three, you walk in holiness. Number four, you walk in health. Number five, you walk like him. Number six, you walk to higher grounds, higher grounds, higher grounds. Who are the people I'm talking about? Higher grounds in Jesus' name. Number seven, you walk into heaven. I said you walk into heaven. The gates of hell are closed concerning you in Jesus' name. Heaven is your final destination. You will not stop your journey halfway. Heaven is the place you are going to live forever. There's a mansion waiting for you in heaven. The streets of gold in heaven, you are going to walk there. You'll see Abraham, you'll see Isaac, you'll see Jacob. You will see Jesus Christ. You will see the throne of God. You will see Stephen. You will see Paul. You will see Peter. All the saints of God that have gone. You'll be one of the saints. When the saints go marching in, you are there. When the saints go marching in, you are there. I said when the saints go marching in, you are there in Jesus' name. The devil that will, the devil that will try to pull you down, pull you to hell, I cut off his hand from you in Jesus' name. All those persecutions, all those temptations that will try to pull you down, you will not go down. You will not go down. Higher, 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 higher every day in Jesus' name. Until you will walk straight into heaven. I'm looking at Genesis chapter 5. Genesis chapter 5. I'm reading from verse 22. Genesis chapter 5. And I'm reading from verse 22. It says, And Enoch walked with God. After he begat me to sell her 300 years. And begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were 165 years. And Enoch walked with God. God and it was not for God took him. For God, where did he take him to? Where is he taking you to? In a few years, when Jesus comes for the saints, where will he take you to? In my father's house are many mansions. If it wants, so I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again so that I will receive you unto myself. So that where I am, there ye may be also. You'll be there in Jesus' name. You see everything you need on earth, everything you need in heaven, everything you need personally, everything you need in the family, everything you need in the spiritual life, everything you need in material life, everything you need for your soul, everything you need for your body, everything you need for the walk of your hand, everything you need to walk in progress. By faith, you get it tonight in Jesus' name. I'm coming back now to Mark chapter 11. Mark chapter 11. I'm reading from verse 22. Mark chapter 11 verse 22. Here is what the Lord is telling you right now. And Jesus answering says unto them, Have faith in God. Have faith. In, anybody there have faith in God? Anybody there having faith in God? Tonight you are the child of miracle. Tonight you are the candidate of miracle. Have faith in God. Verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Your mountains will move tonight. Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe. When ye pray, believe. When you pray, it doesn't say when you pray, cry. It doesn't say when you pray, doubt. It doesn't say when you pray, shout. That when you pray, do some gymnastics. When you pray, run up and down. When you pray, when you pray, believe. As you believe tonight that you receive, you shall have it. You shall have them. You shall have them. Anybody receiving miracle tonight? Where are they? And they're sitting down. 
standing on the promises i cannot fail standing on the promises you cannot fall the promises are yes and amen tonight in jesus name open your mouth and tell the lord is right there miracle is right there salvation is right there in some questions all right there. the power of the holy ghost is right there healing is right there deliverance is right there your miracle child is right there your job is right there anything you need anything you, anything you need is right there it's right there the walk of the watch of faith and the work of faith and the work of faith you are making progress you are making progress you will not remain at that same static situation you will not remain in that same place miracle 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 upon your life tonight blind eyes are opening miracle tonight lame they're rising up and walking miracle those who are sick they're getting healed to a miracle miracle every desire of your heart every desire of your heart every desire of your heart is being done right now it's being done right now the lord is sending the miracle over there over there over there miracles coming there right now miracles coming right there right now receive yours receive yours receive yours you have a testimony tonight you have a testimony tonight you have a testimony tonight impossibilities are becoming possible tonight you are not lame anymore you don't have stroke anymore and you're not going to die all that premature death everything is taken away right now miracle is happening right now miracle is happening right now it's happening it's up you are the candidate for miracle tonight it's happening right there it's happening right there it's happening right there the watch of faith no unbelief no unbelief no instability tonight no uncertainty tonight it's happening it's happening you tell the lord right there it's coming your way it's coming your way the watch of faith the word of faith if you believe in your heart that jesus is lord is lord over every situation it's Lord over every circumstance. It's Lord over that sickness. It's Lord. It's Lord. It's Lord over that demonic oppression. Jesus is Lord over that barrenness. Jesus is Lord over that paralysis. Jesus is Lord. You believe that you are. You confess with your mouth. Confess with your mouth that Jesus was raised from the dead for your salvation for your sanctification, for your Holy Ghost baptism, for your healing, for your deliverance, for your miracle, for the signs and for the wonders that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead just for you, just for you, just for you. It is happening right now. Miracle, 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 multiple of miracles for you and for your loved ones, for you and for your mother, for you and for your father, for you and for your sister, for you and for your brother, for you and for your relatives, for you and for your friends, for you and for your neighbors. Miracles coming your way right now. Miracles coming your way right now. Miracles coming your way right now. It is happening. It is happening. It is happening. When you hear the final amen, grab it. It is there. When you hear the final amen, hold on to it, it is there. When you hear that final amen, that mountain is gone. That insanity is gone. That deafness is gone. That cancer is gone. When you hear the final amen, that swelling will drop away from your body. When you hear that final amen, all that urinating, uh, you know, uncontrollably in the night, everything is gone. When you hear that final amen, the diabetes is gone. When you hear the final amen, that high blood pressure is gone. When you hear the final amen, that, um, that thing that uh, they call uh, uh, the, the pile that is shooting away from your anus, that thing is gone. When you hear the final amen, that issue of blood is drying up right now. When you hear the final amen, all that deafness and darkness, everything is vanishing away. It's a miracle night. It's a miracle night. A new season of power. A new age of power. It is a new epoch. A new era of power. It's coming your way. It's coming your way. It is coming your way right now. Miracle for you. Miracle for you. For the promises unto you and to your children and to them that are far off. Even as many as the Lord our God shall call. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. That deaf ear is opening right now. That deaf ear is opening right now. And the one that has uh, the sharp pain in your eyes, all that is going right now. And the one that has blindness, glaucoma, all the glaucoma is clearing the way right now. By faith, by faith, the word of faith, the walk of faith, and the walk of faith is coming, is coming your way. 
It's coming your way. It's coming your way. It's coming your way. That head that is uh, aching right there, all that is going right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Your head, the Lord is touching you right now. The Lord is touching that head right now. The one that is having the heat in the, the heat in the head, all that heat is going away right now. The Lord is performing the miracle. It's unto you and to your children and to as many as are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. That one that is important, the Lord is bringing life, life into you right now. Impotency is vanishing away in the mighty name of Jesus. The one that cannot control his thoughts is like the devil injecting his thoughts in your mind. And you cannot stay still, you cannot control what you think about. I command you right now, be set free and be loosed in Jesus. Jesus name the one that has the fear of death premature death in your family all that death is cancelled right now life is coming to that family life is coming to that family you're ready you're delivered you're delivered you're delivered you will not die prematurely the one that is prone to accident every particular the particular time of the year that, uh, that syndrome accident prone, that accident that's happening at a particular time of the year, that is cancelled right now from you and your family. Believe the Lord right here tonight. Believe the Lord right here tonight. It's there. It's there. It's there. Your miracle is right there. Your miracle is right there. Believe in your heart. Confess with your mouth. Believe in your heart. Confess with your mouth. Believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. And the Lord says, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? I am the God, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? I am the God, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? It does not see you be, you be trying before you fail, try before you fail. Now you are going to succeed. The spirit of failure is cancelled out of your life. You are, you'll succeed. You will succeed. You are climbing to higher ground, higher ground, higher ground, higher ground, higher ground. You got it, you lost it, you'll get it again. You are getting it again tonight. You got it, you lost it, you are getting it again tonight. You got it, you lost it, you are getting it again tonight. It's right there. Arthritis is vanishing away right now. Arthritis is vanishing away right now. The one that is rising and falling physically, physically. You are trying to walk like this and you are struggling and falling. All that falling is taken away right now. Miracles your way. Miracles coming your way. Miracles coming your way. Miracles, miracles miracles coming your way you are the candidate for miracle right here tonight and at the final amen hold on to it it has happened 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 it's yours tonight it's yours tonight it's yours tonight it's yours tonight just mention it and it's done just mention it and it's done. Just mention it and it's done. Just mention it and it's done. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said, You receive your miracle tonight in Jesus' name. Right now, when you hear the final amen, that thing you have been praying about, this is the finality. I said, this is the finality. And when you hear that final amen, that miracle is there already. I said, that miracle is there already. You raise up your hand now and then lay your hand on yourself. If you're asking for salvation, lay the other hand on your heart, on your chest. If it's about sickness, you lay your hand where that sickness is. If it's infirmity, lay your hand where that infirmity is. If it is deafness, you brought somebody deaf, lay your hand on where they're, where they're deaf. And if it's a blindness, lay your hand on your eyes. And then when you hear the final amen, remember the word of faith. Remember the work of faith. Remember the word of faith and then you put your faith into action you put your faith into action after the final amen that miracle will be there and whatever you were not able to do before you do it miracle will strike you like this 
and then there will be shouts of amen shouts of hallelujah everywhere tonight everywhere tonight everywhere tonight inside outside youth campus everywhere miracle coming your way in jesus name are you ready are you ready i said are you ready you raise up one hand and you lay the other hand and say father in the name of jesus we thank you tonight because this is a new season of power it's a new period of power send forth your power on everyone in jesus name i pray that those who have asked for salvation forgiveness of their sin i pray right now that salvation will come to them in jesus name but those who ask him for that higher that greater that deeper experience of holiness and sanctification sanctify them purify them and lord i pray the blood of jesus will wash them whiter than snow in jesus name and for those saved sanctified souls who are asking for the power of the holy ghost immersion in the holy ghost baptism in the holy ghost i pray that the power of the spirit will come upon them right now and lord all the weakness of the past i pray you blow it away from their lives in jesus name those who need healing oh lord i pray healing everywhere tonight healing everywhere tonight touch every sick person heal them in jesus name that cancer i command you dry up in jesus name the tuberculosis all the all all these things related to uh, tuberculosis in your life tb i command you be healed in jesus name the one that is coughing blood and pouring out blood i command that right now all that coughing of blood will stop right now be healed in jesus name lord i'm asking for those that have high blood pressure diabetes and other things those internal sicknesses touch them immediately touch them immediately and i pray instantaneous healing instantaneous deliverance come to you right now in jesus name I pray for those who are blind. You spirit of blindness, I command you. Come out of that. Come out of that place in Jesus' name. I command all the glaucoma and all the whatever is uh, making you to be blind. I command be removed in Jesus' name. I'm asking Lord for that person that has stiffness in the neck. I command that not be pain and the stiffness in the neck. Everything vanish away right now. And all the pains and the back was pain. I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Arthritis, I command you. All the pain of arthritis and the stiffness of arthritis, I command everything will vanish away right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. The pile over there and also the blood, issue of blood, I pray right now, that issue of blood dry up immediately. And the pile, be healed in Jesus' name stroke and paralysis i come against you the power of the lord is here tonight i pray stretch out that leg and be whole in jesus name stretch out that hand and be whole in jesus name and all the paralysis all the lameness receive the word and the miracle of god in your body now in jesus name all those who are deaf and dumb, I pray that sound will burst into your ears. And then your vocal cords will be loose, be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray right now, whatever miracle people are asking you, anywhere, my right, my left, my center, at the back, miracle everywhere. Signs and wonders everywhere. Lord, at the final, amen, I pray you drop the miracle, the signs, the wonders, the healing, the deliverance in everyone's life in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. That's the final amen the miracle is there right now that's the final amen the miracle is there right now check up yourself check up yourself and then as you see the miracle has taking place just give a shout of praise the lord there and we're rejoicing with you here where are you check up check up check up check up a word of faith 
the work of faith and the walk of faith.